Everybody loves a frittata because you can eat it for breakfast, lunch and dinner and it is such a healthy, creamy and delicious option for all day, every day. So this healthy frittata is super high in protein, low in carbs, low calories and packed full of vegetables and nutrients. I guarantee you're going to love it. So if you want to know how to make it, keep watching. So you'll only need a couple of basic ingredients for this frittata. You'll of course need some garlic and you can also optionally use some onion too to add some extra flavor. You can throw in three cups of vegetables of your choice. I like using a mixture of spinach, tomatoes, capsicum and mushrooms. They all work really well in a frittata based dish, but you can obviously use whatever vegetables you have on hand and in the fridge that you want to use up. About one tablespoon of thyme. I like to use a fresh chopped one, but you can also use the dried ground version. You can of course use any herbs you like. Italian herbs of course work really well in this recipe, such as parsley. You'll need one carton of egg whites, which is about 500 grams, and you can also use eight to 10 whole eggs if you prefer. And totally optional, but this does make it 10 times better. You can use two thirds of a cup of cheese and I try to use low fat cheese wherever possible. And I also make sure that I buy the block of cheese rather than a pre-shredded version because not only does the block of cheese have a better flavor, but it also has no preservatives that a pre-shredded cheese will have and no fillers. And you'll of course need some salt and pepper to season it. So the first thing we want to do is roughly chop our onion and also mince our garlic nice and finely. Then we prepare whatever vegetables we're choosing to throw in our frittata. I've chosen this medley of tomatoes, which adds like a really nice rainbow color. And I just slice that in half really rough. But you just prepare the vegetables however you want them to look in the frittata. Then with our pan on medium high heat and a little bit of oil if desired, we will cook our onion for about three minutes until golden brown, then add our veggies, thyme and a little pinch of salt and pepper. Stir that really frequently and cook for about six to seven minutes until the veggies are tender, depending on whatever veggies you've used. For example, tomatoes will cook a lot quicker than carrots. So just use your judgment here, but it's a recipe that you can't really muck up. Then spread the veggies evenly in the pan and add the cheese if you're using it and sprinkle it evenly all over the vegetables, making sure to reserve two tablespoons of it for the topping. And then finally, we can pour in the egg whites evenly over the top and then finish off with an extra sprinkle of cheese. Again, this is totally optional, but I've decided to add a little pinch of turmeric to this dish because it does make it look like a traditional frittata made with whole eggs. It gives it that really nice yellow warm color and it also adds a lot of antioxidants and nutrients to the dish as well. Then finally, bake in the oven that's been preheated to 175 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 35 to 45 minutes or until the filling is set and no longer jiggles. Cool for about 10 minutes on a rack before slicing and serving. This frittata makes such great leftovers, so don't worry about finishing it all on the same day. It really stays fresh for a long time. You can store it tightly covered in the refrigerator for about four days, or you can also freeze it for up to two months because it freezes really, really well. The day before you want to eat it, just thaw it overnight and then bake at 175 degrees to warm for about 15 minutes. It makes the perfect weekday lunch or quick weeknight dinner or for weekends as well. It just keeps so well and is perfect for any day that you need a little high protein snack or meal. For the cheese as well, you can also use a blend of different cheeses. I've obviously used the low fat version here to keep it as healthy and macro friendly as possible. But goat's cheese, feta, gouda would be amazing if you aren't watching your calories too much and you can increase it to about three quarters to about one full cup. One tablespoon of Parmesan cheese as well would be amazing. 
This is of course a really low calorie and low carb meal, so do feel free to add some extra salad or vegetables on the side and any carbs of choice, such as rice or some bread, whatever you like to make it a balanced meal and to fit your diet. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you try this recipe at home. You literally cannot fail. It's just throwing a bunch of super healthy, simple ingredients into a pan, chucking it in the oven, and it will come out golden brown and creamy and delicious every single time. So do let me know how you go in the comments below. Also like this video, give it a thumbs up if you did like it, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this that will help you live a healthier life. Thank you again for watching, bye. Thank you.